Okay, wow. Just landed from my flight. I'm in Rochester, New York. Guess what? If you don't know where that is, Google it because we have a Persian New Year show tonight, actually tomorrow at noon, and then one in Buffalo coming up in a few weeks. But folks, before I tell you about where I'll be and why, I want to tell you about something incredibly racist that I saw yesterday, and you can also tell me what you think of the situation. Um, we were just doing this live and we got interrupted because this hotel Wi-Fi is not good enough for the world's most famous half-Persian comedian, a.k.a. the Persian Tom Cruise, a.k.a. the half-Persian Jerry Seinfeld. I'm getting a little sick lately, no matter how I try to protect myself, but that'll happen when you fly this much. So I've been using this iodine solution. A couple drops in your normal drinking water and it's supposed to help clean out your thyroid and your system because iodine kills bugs. Let's hope it works. All right, guys. Now, I'm gonna tell you about the most racist thing I saw, which was yesterday. But before I do, I wanna tell you about some upcoming tour dates. So if you know friends in these areas, you can send them. But first of all, big announcement, Paris, France. We just locked it in. Tickets to Paris, France, only 60 available. Those are uh, still online, www.kvon.tv, Kvon. Dot TV, but if you just Google Kayvon Comedian, my website has them. You don't want to miss the Paris show. It's the first time a comedian from America has ever had the guts to go to Paris and try because people say, oh, they, pay, they don't like American humor. <laughs> Spit on you. But guess what? I think they will like it. I think they want us to come make them laugh. And I have enough friends in Paris who keep saying, come, come to Paris, that we're going to give it a try. And I'll let you know how the show goes for those of you who are not there. Of course, Europe has London and Germany and Iceland, Sweden, Netherlands, and of course, Denmark. So those you got to come to as well. But Paris is the new one added to the list. All right. With that said, here is what I saw that was um, very interesting. I was on the treadmill at the gym, LA Fitness, and a Mexican guy got up on the treadmill next to me with his backpack, went to put his backpack on, and somebody elbowed him at the same time. And a bunch of oranges, I'm not kidding, oranges spilled onto the floor out of his backpack. And he's like, oh, amigo, I got to get my oranges. And he picked up six or seven oranges and put them in his backpack. And I started laughing because who brings seven oranges into the gym in a backpack? We're already in Orange County. It's Santa Ana. It's the most Latino area. I just thought it was funny. And I don't care what you think if you're like, oh, that's horrible. I would have laughed. If it was a little Irish guy, little Irish guy wearing green, throws his backpack on, somebody elbows it, and a bunch of potatoes fell out. Oh, jeez, we need to get my potatoes. I, that would be hilarious to me, okay? It would be the same. It doesn't matter what race or ethnicity, it would just be funny if they had a backpack full of items from their culture. Like, I want you to put in the comments any culture and what you think would fall out of that culture's backpack. That would be like if you're Russian and you go to get on treadmill and you put on backpack somebody elbows and little bottle of vodka falling out. Could you imagine how funny that would be if seven little bottles of vodka fell out of a Russian guy's backpack? He's like, oh, it's Smirnov. Don't, I need that back. Hilar or could you imagine a Persian throws pistachios, just pistachios all over the floor. Like, oh, I have to get my pistachios. Oh, God, this is not good. That would be hilarious, okay? Bump into a, some, you know what I'm saying? Think of something, you put it in, the, okay, someone said, what if you bumped into an Arab dude and a bunch of dynamite fell out? All right, that's not cool. That is not cool. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? That would be like if, uh, check this out. You're in Hawaii, you're on the treadmill, and some dude's like, hey, what's up, Shaka? And a Hawaiian guy gets on the treadmill next to you, throws his backpack, and out spill a bunch of pineapples. Hilarious. Okay, so put your favorite culture in the comments and what would fall out of their backpack and we're gonna read it. With that said, this comedy video of the week that I've posted is one where I was lectured by a woman for not knowing how to spell her name. She wanted a DVD with her name on it after my show. I said, what's her name? She said, Gazale. And I said, oh, how do you spell it? And this happened many times. People always have a long ass name for me to spell and I'm just trying to get through it quickly and watch the video if you want to see the comedy clip of the week. Very funny. A lot of people have been joking that Persian names just 
they have lots of extra H's in the name. Like my name is Kayvon, K-V-O-N. The real spelling, K-H-E-H-V-A-H-H-N. Kayvon. All right, I'm gonna read some of the names. Right here we have B.B. Khan. B.B. Khan, your name is, your name would be B-H-I-B-H-I-H-H. K-H-A-H-H-N. B.B. Khan. All right, Susan, Suzanne. So just add a bunch of H's to your name. Just if you wanna see what it looks like, write in the comments your name and just add H's wherever you want and that is your Persian name. Even if you're not Persian, you can try it and I'll read your name in the comments. So, folks, that's what I saw at the gym. That's the comedy clip of the week. And this is going to be a short one today because I have to get to bed. Tomorrow's a noon show, and then I go to Virginia Tech on Saturday. And Tulsa, Oklahoma is April 8th. Then Seattle, then Atlanta. Then it's going to be Buffalo, Edmonton, Toronto, Ottawa, Calgary, and then Reno, Nevada before Europe. So, uh, a lot of trips, a lot of masks. Let's read your comments. Here we go. <clears throat> We're gonna have a lot of people with a lot to say in here. <clears throat> I'm sure of it. Gloria, shout out to you. Robin Cardi says, hello, boo. Um, Azulia Kabul says, what hotel are you in? I'm in the Marriott Hotel and I love it here so far. They're treating me great. When I showed up, they gave me free tangerines. So maybe if I put tangerines in my backpack, I go to the airport, throw it over my shoulder and 16 tangerines fall out. People will know where I stay. Someone says, Kayvon, you need to take oregano. All right, well, I will try that. I usually get oregano. Hey, Italian guy throws on his backpack oregano and Parmesan falls out. All right. Um, I like your show, says Azizula, with lots of L's and H's. Thank you. Michael Blaylock. Hey, what up, Michael? Haven't seen you in a while, man. Hopefully everything's going great. Ashley Sizemore says, hey, yo. Like the... Red Hot Chili Peppers. Hey, yo, listen what I say, yo. All right. Um, hey, I got one. Black dude getting on the treadmill, a bunch of basketballs fall out. All right, let's keep it moving. Uh, Iranians would have pistachios, tea bags, sumac, and sugar cubes falling out of their backpack. That is what Jahan Farazat says. It would be the funniest thing if at the gym everybody just throwing things from their culture out of their backpack. Canadians would have... Okay, this is a good one. Audrey says, Kayvon, I see you're going to Canada, Edmonton, Ottawa, and Toronto, along with Calgary. Canadians would have maple syrup and bacon falling out of their backpack. See? You can have fun with these little stereotypes. You don't have to be like, it was racist. Ugh. We did this live just like 10 minutes ago and the feed cut out and someone was like... That was very hurtful and very racist. Screw you. Get over it. When did we get so sensitive? I just read a book about uh, taking over of America from England. And the, the Americans were like 12 and 13, 14 year old boys. They didn't even have shoes. So they would tie rags around their feet and march 50 miles to go to a certain death to shoot one bullet into a British guy's you know chest. And then that guy would come and just bayonet the poor kid just so we could have freedom of speech. I mean, th we just think it just inherited it. People died for freedom of speech, joking, having fun. Other countries don't even have it, and yet we've got so sensitive now. Oh, that joke hurt me. If a joke hurt you, then tie a rag around your foot, walk through the snow, and go get bayoneted in the back of the head. Caribbean, pepper, spice. Oh, here we go. Back to the backpacks, okay? Here we go. BB Khan says Caribbeans would throw their backpack and, of course, delicious pepper, sauces, fruits, and food would fall out. All right, here we go. Persians, a bunch of tea would pour out of their backpack. I like that one, Abzi. Thank you so much. Um, Ashley June says my brother's name is Javid John with no H's. Okay, well, throw some H's in there. Oh, Sara Donaji. Sara Donaji is Indian. She said, Indians would definitely have mangoes and angur falling out of their backpack. I don't know what angur is, so maybe someone will tell us in the comments. And just because it falls out of your backpack doesn't mean I'm not going to pick it up and eat it. That sounds delicious. Here we go. What would my name look like? Okay, Adorina Parveen wants to know what her name was. First of all, it's A-H-D-H-O-H-R-H-I-N-A-H-H-H. Adorina. 
and your last name, there'd be no room for it on your driver's license. It'd say, your driver's license would say, see you back, to be continued. All right, here we go. Zahida Nasher, yep. And Zahida's birthday is in Toronto when I'm going to be there. So if you come to the Toronto show, you're going to see the birthday girl. Uh, here we go. Robin says she's from the South and definitely Black Eyed Peas and Waffle House would fall out of her backpack. All right, very cool, very cool. Be proud of what, be proud of what falls out of your backpack. Don't be whips. I'm so sick of wimpy people, social justice pioneers looking to get offended. Oh, how did you notice what fell out of his backpack? Cause you notice seven oranges rolling around your feet under the treadmill. I damn near made orange juice. Christine. Uh, says she's German, and for sure a big Bavarian pretzel would fall out of her backpack. Nothing wrong with that. Those are delicious, especially with a little cheese or mustard. Okay, Gazale came to my rescue and said, Kayvon, angours are grapes. So, angours are grapes, ladies and gentlemen. And Parul also, Parul Koblani also agreed that agour is a bunch of grapes falling out of their backpack. Uh, Habiba wants to get in on the action. She's from... Uh, Morocco and Habiba says argon oil and mint tea would fall out of our Moroccan backpacks very good very good I'm glad you guys are having fun with this and uh, telling me what would fall out of your backpack I love it um, here we go <laughs> Michelle honey okay Michelle honey says fool hair would fall out of my backpack I okay I'm Persian Okay, so Michelle Honey is Persian, and she believes a bunch of hair would fall out of her backpack. I don't know about that. I don't know if a bunch of hair would fall out of your backpack, but uh, you tell me. All right, folks, that's all the time I have. Uh, I have to go do this live for my YouTube friends because I promised them. They were mad I was only doing this on Facebook, so I promised them I'd do this on YouTube. If you want to subscribe to me on YouTube, you can see this again. I'll have new jokes because you guys helped me get some. But uh, like the Indian agours and grapes, go on youtube.com slash comedy and subscribe because that is where I do a lot of these videos. Some of them I don't even post on Facebook. And YouTube is getting more and more views lately. So we love YouTube. We love Facebook. I do it for both of you guys. I'll see you next time. But remember, Rochester tomorrow, Virginia Tech the day after. And then, of course, we all know about the Seattle, the Atlanta, the Reno and all the European countries. But Paris, I am excited to say I'm coming to you. So tell your Paris friends that thing's going to sell out in about three weeks. Bye-bye.